I thought I'd make a quick video of all my machines. I'm going to start up every one of them except for the dirt trike because it's out of gas and I don't have any two-stroke oil mix. Alright, we got the Honda Fat Cat. Idle's nice too. Pretty, pretty responsive throttle. And then there's the uh, Honda 125M ATC. This one runs pretty good too, except when it's a cold start, it doesn't stay idling. That's the only problem. Same with this thing. I'm going to start the uh, manual start vehicles after I'm done with the electrical start ones. It's the Kawasaki Bai. This thing randomly shuts off sometimes. I don't understand what's up with that. but This one's got the most responsive throttle of everything I got. You know the way it idles, I mean, the carburetor's clean, and it, it's got plenty of power, but it's, like, I think it's got, like, one of those untunable carburetors, you know, it's just, it's got two jets, and they, they're drilled perfect, so it's, you know, it's supposed to run factory. I'm not quite sure, but I just know that, uh, sometimes it shuts off randomly. Like, it'll run just like this, it's, you know idling nice and all of a sudden just goes chunk, and shuts off and then uh, there's mini quad I actually haven't made many videos with this thing but this is the indestructible four wheeler right here I have had friends deliberately try and break this thing and it, it just does not stop um, that deep mud hole in one of my other videos where I took the four wheeler in up to the headlights my friend Greg thought he could somehow make it across with this thing. And uh, he just dove it straight and it shut off the second it hit the water. And uh, basically you couldn't even see the you couldn't even see the four wheeler anymore. It was just completely under. And uh, when Greg got off the thing floated up and he pulled it out and then I went over to it and kick started it and it started right up. First kick. This little thing does not give up. Yeah, this thing is just amazing. We beat the living hell out of it. We take it in mud and dirt and dust and grime and it just does not quit. I actually had to take the uh, rest of the housing off of the cylinder there because whenever I'd taken mud that thing just gets so caked up it doesn't cool right so I just went ahead and left it off which actually plenty of air blows through there I mean it, it, it actually pumps a ton of air so it really doesn't even need it but now I can just kind of hose the fins off <coughs> Ugh, allergies and then there's the uh what I'm finding out is a, is actually a 200S wasn't actually sure because it I guess uh Tom Martin was telling me that 200s is only have uh, they only have suspension on the front forks. They don't have solid forks. All, all the 200s models they make, or any 200 model, I guess. So he's saying something like it might have a 185 front fork on it, but it's uh, I don't know if it's a 200 or a 185 frame, but it's got a 200 motor on it, and it's got the uh, downshift pattern on it. Make sure this thing's in neutral. Which it is not. There we go. I'm gonna start this thing up for you. I'm gonna have to put the phone down because I gotta do throttle and pull at the same time. It 
actually idles somewhat now. This thing is a beast. I mean, I've never gotten it stuck, and it has got to be the fastest three-wheeler I've ever ridden on. This thing is so freaking fast. I mean, it's just insane. The thing takes off really quick. It's got jumpy acceleration, and it just rolls the hell out of the tires. And when you put when you put the uh, Kawasaki 250, which is actually like a I think it's like a uh, 223 or something like that, 223 cc I think. And this is 192 cc. When you're driving the four wheeler and the three wheeler side by side, the four wheeler gets it on the takeoff because it has such low gears on it and it just kind of goes burp, burp through all of them real fast. But the 200 S, as soon as you hit those RPMs, that thing just blasts. It just flies right past it. And plus, the top end on the three wheeler is a lot higher than the four wheeler so when you're on this thing and this thing's already maxed out you still got one more gear on the three on the three wheeler here it's just ridiculous yep well you know i actually had the fuel valve off that's probably why it just shut off but yeah these are my machines that run right now. The dirt track, actually it's not even worth starting up because it doesn't even technically drive very well. The chain's always falling off. i got to put the plastic chain guide back on it. So that doesn't happen anymore. And I was going to hook the brake up. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. A lot of good running machines here. Hey, Dixie.